Hi everyone, my name is Lee Boynton and I'm a senior at Yale University majoring in Molecular, Cellular, and Developmental Biology. So first of all, I just want to congratulate you all on all your success. It's so impressive that you made it to the ExxonMobil Texas State Science and Engineering Fair. And I remember being in your shoes not too long ago and being so excited at the opportunity. Um, so just to give you a bit of background on my science fair experience and history, I did science fair ever since I was six, so for 12 years. But I never really thought of being that great at it beyond a simple hobby. Um, in my sophomore year, I decided to step it up a notch and do some more complex experiments. So I did a macromolecular biosensor experiment that I took to the city fair and failed miserably. I didn't win a single award. Um, and I chalked it up to really just not doing well in my presentation. So I decided to do the unthinkable and join debate, which to a shy, introverted teenager at the time was absolutely the most daunting thing I could have done. Um, and it was in debate where science returned to me in the most unthinkable of ways. Um, I was in a debate round arguing for ameliorating the problem of acute water toxicity in Sub-Saharan Africa with rapid water detection methods, and I was continually defeated by problems of cost. So I thought, you know, what if I develop a test that is versatile and broad-based, but also cheap enough for use in third world countries? And so that's really what inspired my project my junior year. I did a project based on cell biosensors where I use bioluminescent bacteria or bacteria that glowed in the dark to um, detect for environmental contaminants such as zinc sulfate, mercury chloride, etc. And with that project I went to the Intel International Fair in Reno and ended up winning the Young Scientist Award, which is the top award, um, $76,000 in scholarships and five all-expenses-paid trips around the world to present my project and attend programs, seminars, etc. So after that summer, after presenting my project in Anchorage, Alaska, Prague, Czech Republic, um, Istanbul, Turkey, Tunis, Tunisia, and finally London, England, I was absolutely exhausted in the best way possible after this whirlwind adventure. And it didn't even end there. In December, I got a call from the White House Secretary asking me to attend the State of the Union address. Um, and I thought it was a prank call, so I was like, oh, like, haha, this is so funny. And he was like, no, I'm serious. Uh, the, uh, the president saw your project and was really inspired and wants you to attend the State of the Union address and sit next to Michelle Obama in the gallery. So a few weeks later, I was sitting in the gallery next to Michelle um, watching the State of the Union address. And I had also gone into my dream school, Yale University, and I thought, you know, this is too many dreams have come true in a single year for an entire lifetime. And after all these experiences, I really realized that success is a result of your limitations, and it's how you work with your inherent weaknesses and challenges um, to achieve what you want that really makes the invention worth making, the dreams worth working for, the person worth listening to. And whether or not you win today, it's not about these individual awards, it's how all of these individual interactions um, play into a vast interplay of stepping stones to reach your experiences. And like you saw with my experience um, joining debate, doing art, all of these things are interconnected and contribute to um, winning Intel and doing everything and getting to where I am today. So I hope with that thought you can be inspired to take risks, um, never stop creating, and never stop being acutely aware of the world and all the ways it can inspire you. So congratulations again on getting to the Texas State Science Fair, and I wish you the best of luck on all of your future endeavors. Thank you.